Hi, I'm Sam and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is all about Missouri, the online jewelry brand that really has been taking everyone by storm for the past couple of years. I have purchased pieces from them starting over a year and a half ago until very, very recently. So today we're going to be reviewing all of those and that includes the solid gold pieces as well as the gold vermile pieces. Make sure that you stick around for the end of the video as well as I'm going to be doing a giveaway and it is in fact a piece from Missouri. Without further ado, let's get into it. I did just want to do like a little disclaimer here that two of these pairs of earrings, and I'll point them out as I'm going through the video, I did get sent for free from Missouri, so they were gifted to me. However, if you've watched my channel before, I think you know that I have no fear about giving my very honest opinions about things, and most of these pieces I did purchase with my own money. I think that one of the biggest draws for purchasing from Missouri is not only the gorgeous, gorgeous designs that they've created, but also the affordability of their pieces. So they have two kind of main options when it comes to gold jewelry, which I feel like is what they are the most known for. They offer solid gold pieces as well as 18 karat gold vermile pieces. I feel like the website has a pretty big price range because of these two different types of materials that they sell. So when it comes to something that's on the more affordable side, that's definitely going to be your gold vermile pieces or the really small solid gold pieces. But you can also buy from them really, really expensive jewelry. So I could be scrolling along on the website, looking at things that are like in my budget. And then all of a sudden I see something beautiful and I look at the price and it's like eight or $900. really do differentiate on their website between gold vermile and just a gold plated item and I guess what they're saying the big difference is is that gold vermile is a thicker layer of gold over sterling silver still but it just means that you're not going to have that piece like turn to be silver quicker. I did make a video reviewing Majuri jewelry quite a while ago and in that video I showed these earrings. So these are the croissant dome earrings and they are almost two years old now. I got them in the summer two years ago because I wanted to wear them at my wedding and I did wear them at my wedding. And I think one of the biggest things that I was worried about with the gold vermile was that it was going to tarnish or wear off. And given that I've had these earrings for quite a while and I have worn them a bunch of times, I can tell you that they are still in pretty good shape. I do feel like there is some tarnish on the earring still. So I'm going to use that polishing cloth and see if I can get it off of there. I hope that you can see there is a subtle difference between the two of these, this one that I have polished and this one that I haven't polished like just now. So I feel like this one is a little bit darker and certainly in between the lines has like a little bit more buildup. But you just saw that took me like 30 seconds to do. So I don't think it's a big deal or anything that you have to polish these ones sometimes. Before they provided these little cloths, I think if my jewelry had tarnished, I would have been a little bit upset about it. But because they do provide these now with your jewelry and you can just clean it it off that easily. I feel totally satisfied as a customer because they are quite easy to take care of and I haven't seen any like long-term damage to my pieces. The two pairs of solid gold earrings that I have from Missouri are the single gold hoops and these bold hoops as well. So those are the ones that I wear every single day and I only take them out if I'm putting a different earring in really. Otherwise, you know, they're just kind of always in my ears. And I do feel like both of these are small enough that they don't really bother me. Neither of them have a clasp at the back. So when I'm sleeping, I feel like there's nothing poking into my head. I've also seen some reviews with the bold hoops specifically about the closing mechanism not being 
being very good and I do find that they are quite secure so like you really do have to pull them apart and then they have a little tiny notch in there that just clips into the other part of the earring. For the ones that are more of like a bargain I would say that would be their 14 karat gold pieces that are around $100 or even under $100. You can get the ones that I have so the single earrings for $40 each or if you want something that's a little bit bigger they do sell a small set that is $65 for the pair and then it kind of goes up in size and the largest ones that are 14 karat gold that I find are on like the affordable side of things those ones are $110. I feel like that is a pretty good price when you're looking at solid gold jewelry even if you compare it to some of the other things that are on the Missouri website like the bold hoop earrings for instance those ones I know they're thicker and so they have more gold it makes sense that they're more expensive but if you're just looking for something that you can wear all the time that is going to be like a timeless beautiful piece at Missouri there are lots of good options that are you know under a hundred or around a hundred dollars I really do feel like if you're going with more of a fashion style or something that's a little bit bigger or chunkier that you know you're not going to wear every day Going with a gold vermeil is going to get you a lot more bang for your buck. I feel like there's no reason, for instance, for me to have any of the following earrings in a solid gold because they are ones that I probably wouldn't want to sleep in and that I certainly do take out. I have those croissant dome earrings that I absolutely love and I do, I think, wear those ones the most often if I take out the ones that I'm wearing right now. I was going to add the price into this video, but then I really thought that I hadn't paid that much for my pair of earrings, so I looked back in my order history and saw that they actually used to be $105. That $170 was just plus tax but now these are $165. So they've increased the price by 60 bucks, which like is quite a lot, I feel, even in a two-year span. You can get these earrings for cheaper, but they aren't as big as the ones that I have. I also have these daily mini hoops that I think are really beautiful, just a slightly bolder option rather than the bold hoops that I have on. They are a little bit thicker, a little bit chunkier, and I do really like the way that these look, especially as part of like a kind of stacked ear look as well. Those ones are $70, so they are, again, you know, under that $100 mark. These ones are the metallic sphere hoops. These ones and the last ones I did not pay for, they were gifted. And I feel like the other hoops, I was actually looking at buying them on my own already before Missouri reached out to me. I like had them in my shopping cart, but hadn't quite bit the bullet and purchased them. The metallic sphere hoops are more than double the price of the daily mini hoop. So they are $150. And I feel like I wouldn't have purchased them on my own had Missouri not sent them to me, but because I have them, I do still wear them. Missouri products do come in very cute packaging, I would say. Some of it I feel like is a bit excessive once you order multiple pieces because for instance, like these Missouri bags, I have way too many of them and I don't really know what to use them for but it is a nice experience especially the first time that you purchase so for instance these ones these are actually the giveaway earrings so this comes with you know the nice Missouri bag on the inside they do come with their own little bags and each earring came in its own they do also come with a little polishing cloth which my first earrings did not come with this so I think it's something that they've implemented more recently but this is supposed to be treated with an anti-tarnish material so you can polish your 14 karat or your gold for mild jewelry with it and it's supposed to prevent it from tarnishing in the future but I do wish that you could request less packaging at checkout because I certainly don't need to just have a collection of Missouri bags eventually 
The bold hoops, I have to say, are my very favorite earring from Missouri. I love that they do make like a little bit of a statement, but they're still subtle and small enough that I can wear them all the time. And I did want to share that with one of you. So the giveaway is going to be for your very own pair of bold 14 karat solid gold earrings from Missouri. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also leave a comment down below this video. Let me know what your favorite piece from Missouri is. And also please leave a way for me to get in touch with you. So it could be just an Instagram handle or an email address or really like anything because I can't message you over YouTube unfortunately and I really want to make sure that I'm able to get these earrings to the person who wins this contest. I hope that you've enjoyed this week's video and that it has been helpful if you are looking to make a purchase from Missouri. Don't forget enter the giveaway and I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye! <laughs>